Okay, and then I am planning to show you that what I am I am planning to do next, and this is this my issue cable, that one, and now I have modified this my this metallic hose in this shape, and then I have in here secret weapon. I am planning to insert this kind of metallic clamp, where is this uh, bolt in here, and I am planning to use now two these clamps, so that first clamp comes in here, in that area, and second in here, and when I insert that my cable in here, I insert that totally deep, and first clamp comes in, in that side area, and then second one in here, and this is easy to rotate, and this is extremely tight metallic fastener, this, this model. And my old one was, it looks like that, this is also okay, but this is much better. And I am planning to insert these two, and these are different sides, we can purchase these metallic fasteners, and this my side fits very well in this my hose. And in that way I am planning to insert and totally in there. And first one comes in that position and second one in here. Two of those. And then crosshead screwdriver. And then I have third important thing. Important thing. I am planning to use in here also one specific glue. And for that purpose I clean these my pipes really well, especially this lower one. And then, then, I'm, then I think that I use also a little bit sandpaper. And here is this my sandpaper. I use this sandpaper also. And there is this my sandpaper, and it is like 130 is this my sandpaper sides and then I use this high quality Mirka brand and we can purchase this, that Mirka brand in this, uh, this Amazon.com webpage. Look, and this is excellent. And what a bigger number than more uh, police and la, such shiny is this, this uh, sandpaper material. And if we have very small number like 30 or 60, this is very hard material in this. But if we have like 400, this is really shiny. But now I have this 120, and I am planning to little bit do scratches in this pipe. And an idea is that when there is this scratches, then this my glue takes better contact. Okay, now, now I do this scratches in there, all areas, and then I take clean cotton cloth. I have in here clean cotton cloth, and I take those all dirties away. And then I have secret weapon number two. And this is my secret weapon number two. It is Sika, Sika brand what we can purchase in Amazon.com, like in England, and this, this is gasket, and this is specific silicon glue for fits in this engine areas. Look, there is this yellow area that this fits excellent, excellent way in, in this engine gasket areas, and next I am planning to insert that glue and this gasket glue in this area also. And then I have like double check, I have the Sika gasket glue and also those metallic fasteners and then I believe that this my system works and next I am planning to insert this glue in there and then I insert this my hose and these clamps and next we continue. Okay and here I have this my compression machine that when I trick this my, my pistol then and I press that my thing in that way, then this glue comes out in this nose. Okay, and then I start to insert that. 
there is this red glue and I insert that glue now in this outer area all areas in here in that way and this purpose is to leak those coolant leaks and this is excellent excellent glue this res resist well almost all all things only gasoline is too bad for that and all areas now I insert that in first in that way and then I use my hand okay and then, then I take this away in here and then I use my finger and then use use hand close because this is this glue can be a little bit harmful our skin and do not insert anything in this inside this tube because it is this our car's inside cabin heater area now I insert that my glue and then I then I think that can actually add this little bit more this my glue and I insert my glue in a little bit in this area like in that area in this way excellent okay. and then, then I use my finger Now I believe now I believe that, that there is enough this glue and then I take then I take this my hose what is in here and I insert that hose in here and please remember to clean also this hose inside area then I insert that in this way looks good and there comes this first fastener and I insert that my hose in directly against this wall and there's like this first one that way and then, then I have this my screwdriver that I rotate that my metallic this Fastener that way, and I keep that good. Now it, it goes deeper. Okay, and then I continue this my job. There's this my my tool, and I continue to rotate that. That way, I rotate that then on this metal. Okay, in that way, good. Now, this one is there. Then I take this next clamp, put this in this position. I fasten also this one same way, same way. joint in that way and then I let this I let this this connection I I leave this connection to dry like two hours and after that I insert this 
upper hose and I add this coolant liquid. Okay, but next I wait two hours that this system becomes dry. Okay, and then we continue. And this my fix is almost 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 ready. And thank you.